A trial is underway for the parents of a former Texas high school student accused of killing 10 people during a shooting rampage. Victims and their families argue the parents bear responsibility for the attack outside of Houston in 2018. ABC's Andrea Fujii reports on their first day in court. Emotional testimony on the first day of a civil trial stemming from a deadly school shooting outside Houston. Victims' families arguing the accused shooter's parents should have done more to prevent the tragedy. They're the parents, and the bottom line is that's your responsibility um, to know what's going on with your child. Police say 17-year-old Dimitrios Pagorchis opened fire at Santa Fe High School in 2018, killing eight students and two teachers, wounding more than a dozen others. He was found mentally incompetent to stand trial. Now, survivors and victims' families are suing his parents, claiming they should have known their son was mentally ill and prevented him from gaining access to his father's weapons. They say Pagorchis had nearly $2,000 in ammo and other disturbing items delivered months before the shooting. Parents of a depressed child should safely store their guns. If they don't and their child commits a school shooting with them, the parents share in the responsibility. You can't give me an excuse and tell me, oh, it's because of this and because of this that my son's dead. You can't do that. Somebody has to take accountability for my son's murder. But the parents say there were no warning signs about their son's mental health problems and claim others were to blame, including the company that sold ammo to their underage son. The trial comes just months after the parents of a Michigan teen became the first parents ever convicted for a mass school shooting. Jennifer and James Crumbly were sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison for missing opportunities that could have prevented their son from killing four students at his high school. Back in Texas, the ammo company was also a defendant in this case, but reached a settlement. The trial is expected to last three weeks. The families are seeking at least $1 million in damages. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.